come to this class. So today, we will try to prove um, some concepts when it comes to trig function of differentiation. We establish that y is equal to cos, um, cos x. So if y is equal to cos x, of course, the way over the x was minus than x. So let's prove it. Why is it that if I differentiate sine um, cos x, I'll have negative sine x? Proof. For this first, um, I'll, try, I'll prove this concept using what we call the first principle method, which I'll drop the link um, on the description of, of this video. So check the link on the description of this video. I'll, you'll see um, a link to how to solve problem involving first principle method of differentiation. So, Alright, as we go along, I have that from the question y is equal to cos x. Alright, no stress. From our concept, we said to y, add change in y, then to x. Of course, add what change in x. That becomes y plus change in y is equal to, I have cos x plus what then? Change in x. That's all. Right? To y, start in y, of course, to x, add change in x. And yeah. At this point, take y to the other side here. Yeah? I'll have that, um, I'll have that change in y is equal to cos um cos x plus change in x then what minus y but well, we just said y from the question was what cos x right so change in y is equal to cos x plus change in x minus what why was y why was what um cos x right now listen recall from a popular trig function that says that if you have cos of a number minus the cos of another number, what will be the result? Recall that we said uh, for trig function, if I have um, cos A minus cos B, of course, my result that becomes what? Minus 2 um, cos minus 2 minus 2 sine a plus b over 2 then what the sine a minus b over 2 this is a popular trick function that says that cos a minus cos b is equal in value to 2 minus sine a plus b over 2 then sine a minus b over 2 all right um you need to know this math very well please once you know this math, you can actually um, solve this problem, right? So, we said, if I, for me to determine this now, I said that this is sine, this is cos, perhaps, cos of this man, minus in cos of this other man. In that case, we recall from trig function that says that if I have cos A, minus in cos B, of course, the result becomes what? Minus 2 sine A plus B over 2, then sine A minus B over 2, so that it works. So, alright, at this point, I have to change in y. From here, change in y is not equal to, of course, we just said I have minus here. I have minus 2 sine, I have a sine here, into a. Before we proceed, before we proceed, please, uh, let's get a and b, please. Let's get a and b. A and b, what will be a? Of course, a is this man. A is equal to x plus change in x, x plus change in x, right? Of course, um, B will be what? Will be x in this case. All right, put in value, I'll have that change in y is not equal to negative 2, then sine into, what's A? A was what? x plus change in x, right? Uh, then what? Plus B, this is B plus x on into a2 i have this all right i have a sign here that becomes sign into what's a check a a is what x plus change in x negative b minus x all over two all right at this point the next tax here is to um divide by change in x but for that let's simplify this I'll take change in y to be equal to minus 2 sine um, sine into x plus x becomes 2x then plus change in x over 2 
Next up, I have sine, right, into um, x minus x becomes zero is up. Left between in x, I have between in x over two. I have this. I'm here. Let's start. I will simplify this thing here, right? So to simplify that thing, I have change in y is equal to minus two sine into two x over two plus change in x over two, right? If I simplify it, I'll have this. Then what? Sine change in x over two. Have this. All right, at this point, I can see 10 that cancel out. This will cancel out this, right? So I'm left with what? That 10 here, I'll have that 2 in y is now equal to minus 2 sine. I have minus 2 sine. Of course, this man here will cancel out a little of x. I'll have x plus change in x over 2, right? Yeah. So in this bracket this way. Next up, sine, I'll have sine into what there? Change in x over 2. I have this. Right? So what's my next act here? Next act is that um, I will actually divide both sides by what? Change in x. Right? So divide 2 by change in x. So I'll have that. Um, divide by change in x. In that case, I'll have that. Change in y over change in x is obviously equal in value to negative 2 sine. Of course, I have x plus change in x over 2. Alright, I have what? Um, sine change in x over 2. I have this. I'm here. But we just said what? Divide to by change in x all over change in x. I see. Alright, what's my next task here? Of course, listen please. Of course, I can simplify this one better. For me to cancel out this um, two here, I can actually do some manipulation. Recall something in mathematics. If I have, observe, watch. If I have, um, let's say, uh, let's say, let's say, for instance, let's say, A sine B, uh, sorry, A sine Q. Okay, see, let's just, let's just, let's just solve it, right? At this point, I can divide numerator and what this man here by two. In that case, if I divide this man here by two, of course, that two will cancel out this man here, right? If I divide it by two, I'll have what? Oh, change in x over two. So divide numerator and numerator by two to divide numerator and denominator uh, of course by 2 in that case I'll have that um, change in y over change in x is equal in value to negative 2 um, sine into x plus change in x um, over 2 right sorry for saying it's just on this man here from here right of course over 2 into sine change in x over two, right so all over two this for numerator alone next up numerator is what for this one so i have all over this man here change in x over two i'm done i'm here of course this man here has to allow this man left it what negative sine x so i can have From here, I'll have that change in y all over change in x is equal in value to what? Negative sign. I have negative sign, right? Negative sign into this man, um, into x plus change in x over 2. Next up, I have sign change in x over 2, sign in x over 2 I have this next up over I have all over change in x over 2 but recall but we said that if I have sine 
of the number dividing that same number of course my value there, there is one if i have sign of a number when that same number i have one as my answer of course i can expect from here that change on y over change in x is obviously equal to this a b a let's say if i change is what negative sign right all into x plus change in x over 2 of course multiplied by separate this man here i'll have sign change in x over 2 this man all over change in x over 2 right so of course observe this and this observe this and this i'll have one for here so i'll have that change in y over change in x is equal to negative sign into x plus change in x over 2 so times what they want here becomes 1 sign of a number dividing that same number of course is 1 all right if 1 times this i have what this same thing here all right so let me clean up this place Alright, at this point, I'll have that, if this man will slide it, I'll have change in y all over change in x is equal to negative sign, negative sign, of course, I have x of x plus change in x over 2, um, when 1 multiply this, so I have it. Of course, we said, after dividing through by change in x, and we are still left with change in x, we take limit of change in x to what? 0. Hence, taking limit of uh, change in x to be what there? 0. That is, any one change in x, I'm just put 0 there. I'll have that change in y over change in x is now equal to negative sign into x plus 0 over 2, right? Hence, my change in y over change in x is equal to minus sign x of course as my proof to that concept minus sign x times x i have it this time this is what zero is off so this is like the proof to um that question